Early in my life, I was exposed to two things. The costliest and the best school and the worst college from which I had to drop out. And then I switched to another college, which was good. So I know one thing, and that is if you get a chance to get into the best college, you can really do amazing things in life. So while all your parents and relatives are debating on this topic, hot topic, that which will be the right college for you, I'm here to make your life simple. First things first, if you are an aspiring biotechnologist or someone who wants to make a career in life sciences, you have three things to think about. The first is the degree of greatness, where you want to get in life. Now, degree of greatness is like, do you want to be the Albert Einstein or the Newton or the uh, Edison of your field? Then go for the top global colleges, which I'm going to tell you in this video. Now, the second is, if you do not want to go abroad, but you are really bright child, and if you are in India, then you can crack some entrance exams and get into the top 10 government colleges, the list I'm going to tell you in this video, for life sciences. But if you're in the third category, okay, um, you want, you can't go abroad, but you want to be in India, but you want the best top five private or top seven private colleges in India or universities in India, which can actually take you to that level of greatness. So I'm going to tell you that also in this video. So more or less, I'm actually going to share more than 25 to 27 colleges names. Okay, so have pen and paper so that you can note it down. Let's start with the global colleges, which are the top 10 global colleges or programs which you can go for. First uh, one among them will be University of California, San Francisco. UCSF is a leading institution for biotechnology education. Now it offers a range of programs, including Master of Science in Biomedical Imaging, PhD, MS and a lot of things in between. That is the first ranker. Second one, which I would recommend you is John Hopkins uh, University. They also offer MS in biotechnology, which combines the coursework in bio molecular biology, cell biology, biochemistry. It's nice, it's very really nice. So John Hopkins, so these are the colleges where you have to get to if you really want to become the Einstein of the industry. The third will be MIT. Of course, it's very difficult to get into MIT. You know, top 18 can get in there, but yeah. You can always apply there, but never go abroad without scholarship. That's something you should know. The fourth one will be Stanford University. Amazing place to be in. Fifth will be Harvard University. Again, a brilliant place if you are interested in stem cell research, regenerative biology. That's a great place to be in. Next you have is University of Pennsylvania. So their bioengineering department is offering a lot of biotechnology related uh, unfocused courses like uh, MSc in biotechnology and uh, PhD in bioengineering. Now followed by that will be University of Wisconsin Madison and uh, their biomedical department is really great and uh, it gives you a real strong foundation for biotechnology and they're more focused on interdisciplinary research so that's something which you should be aware of. Now followed by that you have uh, University of Washington so so I know alumni of Washington uh, University of Washington Dr. Deepthi Saini and the feedback I got is it's an amazing place to be in. And it is in Washington, the capital city of US. So yeah, that's a great place to be in. The coursework is exhaustive and uh, they deserve to be in the top 10. Yes, I agree. Now followed by that will be um, Georgia Institute of Technology, GIT. So their biomedical engineering department is uh, very good. MS in biomedical engineering is available as well as PhD in bioengineering is available. Now the 10th one globally will be University of California, San Diego. And uh, again, they have a bioengineering department which uh, take, caters to the biotechnology with a focus on research and innovation in areas such as tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. So these are the top 10 colleges or universities where you can get to if you are targeting greatness. But now the question is, hey, I cannot go abroad. I cannot afford to go abroad. I don't have any scholarship. I don't have any resources, but I'm bright child. Then my dear friend, you have two to three exams you can qualify. One of them is GATE exam. You can always write that in India. And then, so then you can go for the IITs. The best one among IITs in India would be IIT Madras. A lot of startups have come out of that place. That's an amazing and vibrant place to be in. IIT Madras, then you have IIT Delhi, brilliant place to be in. IIT Kharagpur, again, wonderful place to be in. IIT Guwahati followed by that. 
and then you have uh, NIT Warangal. It has got a great biotech department. Followed by that, you have uh, Bits Pilani. That's a great place to be in. Then you do have uh, MIRM, which is uh, Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine, which is in Bangalore. That's a brilliant place to be in if you want to do stem cell research. Then you have Nirma University, which is in Gujarat. Brilliant place to be in. Uh, they have so such in-depth um, coursework and placements that I'm really a big fan of MIRM and NIRMA. Then you do have the NIT Raurkela, which is again a great place to be in. And uh, followed by that you do have SRM uh, University, which is in Chennai and they have in a campus in Amravati also. Geetam University, again there is a place. Uh, so these are the places which you, where you can get in with scholarship also as well as direct admissions are there. But mind you, the IITs and NITs, they will only take you if you have a great score or uh, you have the, uh, you know, CSIR net, stuff like that. So you have to keep in mind, or CUET. Which are the top five private colleges where you can get in, okay, by paying the fees and just uh, availing the best of the facilities. It's very difficult to rank, but uh, in my view, the first one I will recommend is MIRM, which is Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine. I know them personally. They're doing a brilliant job. Uh, Dr. Uttara, Dr. Jyoti, they are um, very keen on helping the students succeed in their career. So yeah, MIRM. Then you have Nirma University, brilliant faculties. You should definitely at least once consider them because Nirma University has done stuff which hardly uh, anybody has done. They really help you publish papers, get placed, a lot of things they do. Followed by that, you have SRM University. Uh, there recently they have opened Amravati campus as well as the well-known Chennai campus. They're doing a great job. And then the fourth one, uh, if you ask me, will be IBAB in Bangalore. They are really good. Then you do have Mount Carmel College. There also you can apply. So I think more or less I told you around 28 or 29 colleges names um, globally as well as in India with entrance, without entrance. Now, I know that you'll have a lot of questions when I speak about all of this. So I, I invite you to ask your questions in the comments and this will help me make my future videos. I will t take your comment and make a video on that so that your questions are answered. And of course, if it is just a small answer, I'll reply it in the comment section. Now, there can be situations where uh, you have some personal question which you cannot ask publicly. So go ahead and you can email me at shaker at biotechnikar.org. If the question is important and valid, I'll definitely reply. So with this, I'll come to an end of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to contact. Thank you. Take care. Bye.